When I fly with Lou, I fly with this KNJ custom dog crate that is collapsible. And I wanted to show you how I assemble it or disassemble it for when I'm traveling. So if I'm going to be going to the airport in a vehicle where it's big enough that this can stay assembled, I will just leave this as is, put it into the vehicle, put loot inside, and then when I arrive to the airport, I will get it further ready for uh, the, the flight. Um, but if I need to take this apart to get into the vehicle, this is what I will do. First things first is I will take the wheels off. So there's this uh, pin here and a pin in this back corner here. Here the wheels unlock and lock. So I will lock I'll use the top handles and put the crate onto the wheels. Making sure that the pins are back in. Only the back side will now roll around, the front side won't. Now what I'll do is I will unlatch the side rails. and put them on top. these side screws that I will take off and they will then get attached into these rails. Here, I will unlatch two in the front, two in the back. When I lift, I'm going to put the back panel in first, lift, my bad, I forgot. I want to take out this bowl and the funnel. Now I'm gonna lift and pop the door in. I'm just gonna bend in those sides. Now I'm going to put the latches down, front, and back and now I will put this in the car like this when I get to the airport I am going to assemble it so let's get that process going undo these front and back latches lift Hold on to the front latch, grab the door. I find that grabbing the door is the easiest. That's why I put that back panel down first. So once we have that door, I've just relatched here. Now I'll grab the back panel and secure these latches. I will take the side rail 
that was on the top, taking that off. I'm going to attach it to the side and secure it with the latches. Now we had those screws under here. We're gonna take those off. And we're gonna screw them onto the side. Okay, so something that I always have is typically I have a pouch that will be attached here to the front of the door. I'm hoping to do a different idea in terms of a bag with my crate, so I just don't have the pouch here. But in the pouch, I always carry zap straps, more than I'll need, and cat nail clippers. Um, the zap straps, what I'll do is when I've assembled this at the airport, I will then zap strap all of these connector points. So I'll just literally put it through the two pieces and zap strap. That way no one can unlatch these. Um, no one can unlatch these and the crate can't come apart in any kind of way. There's gonna be 18 connector points. So that's including the door here. The door you'll do last once your dog has gone through security and they've cleared your dog to go back into the crate, then you'll zap strap the doors. But while I'm unloading from the vehicle at the airport, I will do all of these connector pieces. So you see there's two, four, six, eight on the front, same amount on the back. So always keep the zap straps with you. Even if you're using a plastic crate um, where you just have to zap strap the four corners of the door, always bring your own. Sometimes the airlines are out and you, you don't wanna worry if you're gonna have them or not. The cat nail clippers are so that you can easily undo the zap straps when you arrive from the door um, in case of any kind of emergency and just quickly do it and not have to worry about asking someone. So these are great. They have like a little locking mechanism on them. Um, so really awesome to have. The final thing that I'll note is when you get to the desk and you're checking in, they're going to give you a boarding pass and they're gonna get all the stickers ready for the dog crate. So they'll have these upside stickers, they'll have live animal stickers, but they'll also have the boarding stickers. So there'll be these little stickers, there's usually four of them. They'll go, one will go on the front, back, sides, maybe on the top. Um, and these have barcodes on them. Make sure that those aren't going to be hidden by anything. So if you attach anything to the crate, if you attach a bag to the crate, make sure that those stickers are going um, in a place that is visible which the airlines they're they're the people that are putting the stickers on anyways so they're going to look for open spots because that's where they're going to scan to make sure your dog's going on the right plane they're also going to have a long sticker with like a barcode and further information now that goes on the top of the crate but as you can see i have the wheels on the bottom and then the wheels are going to go on top so what i like to do is I will ask for the sticker 
and I will put it on myself underneath on the bottom here because from that point, you still need to wheel your dog to security for the security check. So I don't wanna have to then try and like haul the crate with my dog. Um, I want it to stay on the wheels. Um, once I've explained that, like I've, I've stopped the people before they put the sticker on top to say these wheels are actually going on top. I still need to wheel the security and I haven't had any issues with them letting me just put it on the bottom here because then eventually these wheels will be on top, meaning the sticker will be on top. So um, just keep note for that. Um, once I get to security, I will take the crate off and put the wheels on top of the crate. So when I do this, I will have my dog out of the crate and I just put my dog in a down. As you can see here, the sticker will be down here. And then I have this in here. It's just a paper protector that I put in um, what I've printed off from home, which will be a information sheet with my dog's photo, uh, name, my name, our travel information, just in case anything happens. This will then go on top and I'll pin these on and then security will do a final check inside the crate they'll ask you to remove the bed if you do have a pouch on here they'll ask you to open the pouch and they'll take a look once that happens they'll let you put your dog in you'll put your dog in close the door and zap strap top and bottom <laughs> 